Welcome to Fret Night. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series. I think it's amazing that we have another Explorer. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> I, I bet it is. So, if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, you know that not the last video, but the video before last, Colton had to play an Explorer. I did. I, I had to I had to suffer through it again, but it was fun. I like so, it. So, on the channel right now, <clears throat> we have the Firefly, the other Explorer. We have the Mitchell, yep, the Les Paul. We have the Feasley Fesley. Feasley Fesley. And we're this will be putting this up. So there's a total of four guitars that are up for grabs right now. Mm -hmm. So you need to get on there. Now, before we do anything else, just so everybody knows, we review these guitars and then we give them away. Tonight we're gonna do something a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the specs of this. We're gonna let you hear it in a mix, and then we're gonna come back and tell you price point, how we got it, what it cost us, what we think about it. Is it worth your money to buy? Yep. First thing we're going to do, though, is we're gonna stop, and I'm gonna show you a really quick little segment uh, of the one, two, three, four, is it four winners? I believe so. Anyway, everybody that's won a guitar on this channel here in the last couple of months, we have all of them. So we're going to put that up right now. We're going to come out. We'll show you a little bit of the unboxing on this. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to talk to you about specs. Yep. Okay, we're back. You got a chance to see some of the pictures of some of the people that have won. That's five guitars we've given away in the last five couple months. Yep. We got lots more to come. We've got this one. We have another one coming in in a day or so, and we're working on getting another one. So if you guys just stay on the channel, you're going to have a chance to win a free guitar. Yep, don't miss out on it. Could be you. Right? All right, so this guitar is, um, it's, ma um, it's a mahogany body with a maple neck and a rosewood fretboard isn't that what I it said i think so uh the fret ends on this are ball ends so they're very good they're they're very clean you're not going to have any issues with that um, the action was set really low really nice out of the box it comes in a really nice uh packaging so you don't have to worry about any of that it didn't just get thrown in a box it's actually got the cutout for it um you know you played the firefly mm -hmm. and you played this one I didn't play the Firefly as much because you're the Explorer guy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but to me, it kind of sounds like in the mix, this has got a little bit more aggressive pickups than maybe the Firefly does. Yeah, they sound like a, they have a tad bit more bite to them. So, bit. but I mean, any, with, a, with any kind of a pedal or anything, you could fix all that. You could make it sound like however yeah. you wanted to, but just kind of mm -hmm. listening to it raw, I think this is a little bit heavier. Um, this gar guitar's got a lot of weight to it. The tuners seem to work pretty good. Yeah. Um, I believe when we got it, man, it was kind of set up in drop C. I've changed it to D because mm -hmm. I felt like in C, the strings weren't big enough and we had a little bit of fret buzz trying to run it in drop C. So I pushed it back up to D and it's just perfectly fine in D. Yeah, it plays really, really nice in D. So um, this is a West Creek. Uh, revenge. It, the Revenge. And uh, we actually have another West, West Creek coming. It's a different style. Um, and I hate to do two back to back, but it's just where it fell in the, you know, the same company, it just fell in the, in the shipping part. So mm -hmm. we'll have another one for you coming up pretty soon. Um, here in just a minute, we're going to get out of here and let you hear this in a mix. We're going to come back and talk price point, um, kind of what we think on the craftsmanship on it, uh, what it took for us to get it, how we got it, kind of the time frame, And then, you know, if we think it's worth the money. Yeah. So for right now, we're going to get out of here and shut up and let you guys hear this in a mix.
Okay, we're back. You got to hear some of it in a mix. Yeah. So you're the guy. You know, anytime we get an explorer, you're the player. Yeah, so <laughs> anytime. <laughs> Tell everybody what you think about it. <clears throat> um, it, uh, you know, just body shape. That's that's one thing for me. But it wasn't too bad. You know, it's. I'm always aware of this big like shark fin we got going on right here. <laughs> but you know, getting over that aside, it it plays really nice. Um, I don't really have any complaints as far as playability goes, aside, you know, from this fin. But you know, that's that's personal preference. But now, um, if you were standing up and had a strap, yes, if we were standing would, up and had a strap, that'd be you know, completely you wouldn't different even know story. the difference. Yeah, but, and actually, it's kind of cool to put it down like right here when you're <laughs> running around on stage. You know, yeah. it's kind of cool because it lays it up against you. You know, I've done that before. So, mm -hmm. but when you sit down, anything with this, any kind of an X or any kind of a V comes a little bit different animal yeah. when you're sitting down with it. But uh, that aside, I, I absolutely love the way it looks. Um, I love the color and the way that kind of turned out as opposed to like kind of what we were seeing online. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, you know, getting it in person, it's exactly how I was hoping it would look, which is So kinda, it's not quite as bright pink that no, they kind of make it yeah, in no, pictures? It's not, yeah, it's not really pink at all. It's more of like a violet kind of, like a bright purple, you know? Um, the inlays are, are beautiful, actually. They're very... I guess this is mother of pearl, I would assume. It doesn't really look like abalone, but they're, you know, beautiful swirls in the inlays. Uh, I don't know if you can see this very well, but especially on the headstock, that does kind of look like abalone. Yeah, there in the that headstock. does look good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so really nice. So if guitar. we hadn't started this, before we started this whole thing, if me and you would have walked into a store and there wasn't a price tag on this, mm -hmm. and you picked it up and started playing it, and you saw the abalone and the mother of pearl and the way this plays... And, you know, one of the guys come over and said, that's five, six hundred bucks. Would you think that's a pretty good buy? Yeah, I would think it's a pretty decent buy. You know, if, if you know, random Joe told me it was five, six hundred bucks. Yeah, but the deal is you can't stay an Explorer, so it would never be a good buy. Not for me. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't have picked up an Explorer to begin with, but I certainly would have, uh, it would have drawn my attention just because of the color alone. I love so it has color. a lot of, it has good weight to it. Yes, um, the weight is pleasant. The binding on it's really nice. There's no, I mean, it's, the fit and finish on this is really good. We got this straight off Amazon. And, and look, guys, don't yell at me. You can go to Amazon while we're talking and get the exact price on this. I, we have bought a lot of guitars in the last two months. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe I picked this up for $199. And if you think about that, not downgrading anything, but I mean, we paid the same thing for the Donner and the mm -hmm. Jackson. Yeah. We paid $199. Bucks. Of those three guitars, I feel like this feels more like a real guitar, even though it's an Explorer. Yeah. As far as weight, mm -hmm. the neck, it just, it feels better. Yeah, it does. It feels really nice. And like I said, it's got great tone. The the pickups have a tad bit more bite than the Feasley Fesley. No, the Firefly. Was that not the Feasley Fesley? No, it was the Firefly. It's yeah. the Firefly. Yeah, the Feasley was last week, and yeah. or the Fesley, however you say it, Feasley, yeah. Fesley. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's the the Super Strat, but the Firefly, and I really like that guitar. Yeah, I just to me that guitar sounds more like an, a true Explorer, mm -hmm. and I know that's what they were trying to get out of it. It sounds more like a Gibson style sound. Yeah, it's got some. It's got kind of like a crunch to it. Yes, you know? and it's got a little warmth where mm -hmm. this is more crisp and bitey. Yes. So I like that. And that for the style of music we play, obviously, it's this is better for us. But hey, you could not go wrong with either one of those no. guitars. We paid a little bit more, I think, for the Firefly, maybe 20 bucks more than this one. Hey, but this is a company you really need to keep your eyes on in the future. Mm -hmm. um, if this is indicative to in, of their quality, and we're going to have another one in a couple of days, and we're going to be able to test that theory. Yeah, pretty excited to get that one and yeah, see if it's if, on par with Yeah, the, and if it revenge. is in quality, I mean, I would highly recommend these people. Uh, like I said, we bought this off of Amazon. Usually, you're within a week of getting it. My wife is Amazon Prime, so I get a little bit of special attention. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, I make her order all my guitars, but... Uh, as far as Amazon goes, um, man, we talk about this all the time, but there was nothing on the planet like this when I started playing. I know it. Yep. This is a real, if you're a beginner man, if you need a second guitar, if you're intermediate, this is a really good guitar. Probably the only thing I could say is if you're very picky about your pickups, maybe you change out the pickups. But for all intents and purposes, those pickups are fine. Yeah, they're pretty good. They, they play really good. I mean... Do you remember if the uh, the Firefly, if if it was a bolt-on neck or a set? 
Because I noticed that this one is a set, and I, I really like that about it. We would have Real to go smooth. back and look at that. I think it's a set, too. Yeah. I think those are sets. So, all in all, verdict, very good buy. 199 bucks. It's on Amazon right now. There's no link on our channel. We don't get nothing. I don't care how many you buy. We're just giving you information. Yep. That's a good buy. That's, yeah. a, that's a good little guitar. Um we're working on another West Creek. I say it just, it fell that way. We try not to do them back to back, but we got a separate West Creek coming. And uh, <clears throat> it's going to give us a chance to test the theory. Mm -hmm. But if this is their build quality, man. It's not bad. That's that's a really good little guitar, man, for 200 bucks. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for my very first guitar and was nowhere like quality of this level okay so we're gonna get out your hair we're gonna go back over this one more time so everybody's on the same page if you've made it to this far in the video there you go so every one of these guitars on the entry level series now we do multiple series but on this series every one of these guitars we give away after we review it it's really easy to win you need to like the video you need to share the video to some platform and you need to be subscribed to the channel. Once you do those three things, you can go to the comments and type the word done. When we see the word done in the comments, we pull up the analytics on YouTube. We see if you shared it. We see if you liked it. Mm -hmm. And if you're subscribed to the channel, then your name automatically goes in a random name generator. And then the video stays up a little bit of time. And then when it comes around to it, we push a button. And whoever wins it, wins it. Wherever you are, we're shipping it to you. We ain't calling you and asking you for nothing. We're going to put one of our fret knot stickers on the outside of the box and we're going to throw one in the box for you. And you could see earlier that some of the people that have already won, they've got their their stickers. So that's the only thing we really ask of you is once you get the guitar, if you win it, please send us a picture of you in the box so you can see the sticker and then send us a picture of you in the guitar. Yeah. And if you're if you're one of those people that, you know, really big on your privacy, just do those two and don't show your face. Yeah. I don't care, but show that you got the guitar so everybody can see. Yeah, picture of the guitar and thumbs up next to it. Yeah, or something, <laughs> you know. Put on a gorilla mask. I don't care. Yeah. I'm not going to sit and take the time to blur your face. So if you send it to me, I'm putting it up yeah. just so you know. So anyway, uh, we really appreciate you guys, man. The likes are off the chain. The, the uh, subscribes are off the chain. Uh, we're really trying to grow this channel. We want to give away more expensive guitars, and mm -hmm. that really just comes down to the amount of people that watch. We've given away seven, it, five. I think, well, we got five five. We got five there. guys, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then we've got, this is, so we will have a total of nine guitars yep. in about two months we've given away, and we don't plan on stopping unless we run into a problem where we're finding all the cheap guitars are garbage, and then we're just going to quit buying them. So we're trying to pick you the best ones so you can uh, watch these videos, man, and you can just go out and buy confidently, and you'll get a good guitar. Yeah, I agree. All right. Thanks so much for watching, man. We're humbled. We really appreciate you guys, and until next time. Stay tuned.